I'm going to speak to you about diffraction. And diffraction is actually pretty straightforward. The idea is that when waves go through some sort of aperture, some sort of opening, they spread out. That's the main thing from diffraction, at least from a physics SL point of view. Um, so this is the key word here is spread out, okay? Uh, so if we look at this right here, let's take a look at an aperture. An aperture is a, a hole. In this case here we have D. Can you imagine this here is a solid wall? So we have a solid wall right here. We have a little hole in between it. And we have some waves that are coming in. These could be light waves. These could be water waves. In fact, let's maybe consider them as just water waves. So let's take a look at this then and uh, see what to do with this. If we look at these as water waves, um, what I've drawn right here are actually the wave fronts. That's what these are here. These are places where you know the wave has the same intensity. So maybe it's like the crest of a wave or it's the trough of a wave. In this case here, these are places, that's how we can... You ever flown on an airplane, for example, if you're looking down at the water, sometimes the waves really do look like this. They look like these lines. That's where you can tell you know, where the next wave starts. From that then, we can actually tell the wave length, can't we? If these are here are places with a similar, uh, let's say peak and a peak or a trough and a trough, we can define that as the wavelength. And this right here represents the direction of travel. So we call these right here the wave fronts. That's the word we use for these ones right here. And this right here would be the direction of travel. That would be the direction of travel. Sometimes we could call these rays. So the rays are the ones going in the direction that the light goes. But the wave fronts are perpendicular to that. Sometimes you'll see sneaky drawings where they ask you, they show you one thing or they show you the other. So the direction of travel, those are these rays. Rays could be directions, you know, like little arrows going that way. But the wave fronts themselves are actually going across. So in this case, they're perpendicular. So we can take a look at that. And same situation right here, right? Same exact thing right here, still the wavelength. These are still the wave fronts over here on that side. Uh, so that's all the same. These are still the rays. This is still the direction that they travel. Now what's really interesting to see is what happens with the size of the aperture. That's what we're trying to look at here. In this case right here, if we look at the size of the aperture right here, D, maybe I'll write it down here. I'll say that um, if the size of the aperture, so this D, is greater than the wavelength. Can you see that that's actually what we've got here? You see that that's actually what we're looking at here? That if the D, the, the size of the opening, is bigger than the wavelength, then we have one situation going on. And here what I'll say is, um, you can see there's not much diffraction will happen. That's the answer here, there's not much diffraction. So what I mean by that, if I try to draw these, it'll be a little bit hard, but let me just try here. They shouldn't change wavelength, they'll just, they'll just bend a little bit. They'll bend just a little bit. Yeah, so not that much. I'm just trying to draw something that's not bending much, just a little bit of bending like that. So these things right here will go through it and they'll sort of spread a little bit. So they will spread, of course, but not much. So that's maybe the key thing is here. If you have D is greater than the wavelength, we can say not much uh, diffraction. In other words, not much spreading. But conversely, if you look at this one right here, what if we have D is, in this case here, D is, less than or it could be equal to the wavelength. That could be another situation. Um, and you're probably already knowing what it's gonna look like. We're gonna say uh, more diffraction, we're gonna say. So it diffracts more. In other words, it's gonna spread more. So what that means is this. If I'm actually going to draw it now, I'm going to draw it with, uh, say, because look at this D here. This distance now, this aperture, is much smaller than the wavelength. If it's comparable to the wavelength or less than the wavelength, then you'll have these diffraction effects. So uh, this right here will, for example, it'll curve a lot more, like this here. It starts to be the same wavelength. Okay, there's something like that. I'm just trying to draw something. So it's gonna spread out a lot more as it, of course, goes out. Remember the direction of travel, now it's gonna go out in all these different directions. So this is a good example of diffraction. This happens in everyday life, right? This is why you can hear sounds around a corner because the sound will actually diffract and go around. This is why uh, corners aren't exactly sharp. If you look at, for example, um, a wall and the sun is shining on that wall, if you look at you know the place where the shadow and the light is, it's not exactly a uh, straight line. It's a bit fuzzy. That's because some of the light actually diffracts. Some of the light actually goes a little bit around. So that's why you know corners and like shadows aren't super, super sharp, not always at least. 
This is a perfect example. This is just a satellite image. Uh, I think it's a satellite image, or maybe it's just an aerial image. Um, it's a great example of what we have near our summer house uh, where my wife and I live in Denmark. We have a nice little house up near the water. And this is actually kind of what it looks like. There used to be an older picture on uh, Google Maps that showed it really well. But the problem is they updated their picture and when they took that picture, uh, there was no wave, so you couldn't really see it. I used to show the actual picture near our summer house, but here's an example of one. So what's going on here is uh, exactly this. You've got these waves here. Uh, it's hard to tell exactly, but can you see? You can, might be able to guess this could be a wave front, so could this. It's a little bit hard to tell. It's something like this. And these are coming in this way. That's the direction of travel. They're coming in in, in that angle. And what happens, of course, they pass through this small aperture. And do you notice this aperture here is roughly the same size or smaller than this? So that means now, can you see that these waves are now spreading? Can you see that now they've spread, they've diffracted? So that means they go out that way and that way and that way. Isn't that cool? So this happens in real life. But the kinds of IB questions you'll have will be related to diffraction. Uh, you might actually be asked to just draw something like this or something related to this. But basically, you just got to remember that things go around corners and they will spread a little bit. So that they won't just be straight, they'll bend a little bit. And the smaller the aperture is compared to the wavelength, if the aperture is close to the same size as the wavelength, in other words, if D is equal to wavelength or less than, then more diffraction happens.